we're going to go inside the mind of Mark Clattenburg, former Premier League referee. Mark, thanks for joining us. You've been with us all weekend. We've been asking for questions from our viewers about refereeing and your position in the Premier League. Here's a first question from at Patrick Moore 3. Why doesn't the Premier League adopt the rugby policy of no back talk and only the captain talks to referees? Guys, can we remember when they tried to introduce a rule where they advanced the ball 10 metres if a player back chatted to the mm. referee? It didn't work. Simply didn't work because players were starting to use it as a tactic. Gavin McCann used it against David Beckham where the free kick got moved up to right up to the edge of the penalty area so David Beckham couldn't get the ball up and down. So it was used as a tactic. Referees are encouraged to, to speak to players, to, to communicate. Therefore, when a player's dissenting, you'll see the captain getting involved. The referee will warn the captain that he'll take further punishment on that player. So we try and use captains, uh, but... In the heat of the battle in the Premier League. relationship with the players, yeah. yeah. but in the heat of the battle, everything gets thrown out. Next question, Mark. So, to continue on the communication theme, how do referees communicate with players that don't speak English? That's a great question because I refereed many international matches. Players spoke very little English. Used body language, gestures. Mm. For example, if you want them to be quiet, the finger to the mouth. Uh, using hand gestures to calm them down. So, you use gestures, but what's great is when a player used to come to the Premier League, and your first few days, the players of his teammates used to give him some English mm. and they were never the right words, that's for <laughs> sure. Question three, and this came from Anne Hahn, who says, why doesn't the Premier League try and curb diving by calling more simulation fouls? And I know you're quite passionate about this one, Mark. Yeah, simply, simply, let any simulation that happens, take it to the panel, agree and suspend the player for two matches. I remember a game, it was a big game, a playoff game, and I cautioned the player for simulation. And the player said to us, no problem, Mark, I'm a winger, I'm not going to get a second yellow card. And that irritated me, <laughs> that as a referee, because... It's not open a can of worms, though. No. But if, if, you've simulated, if you've simulated, it's a form of cheating. You're trying to deceive the referee, mm. you're deceiving your team, uh, the other team, and therefore it should be a too much, regardless if the referee has given a penalty or not. Final question. This one comes in from Nelson67. Um, basically talks about the bi-weekly meetings that you have, uh, that you've already mentioned. How do individual referees, or how should they be accountable for bad calls? What should happen to them? But the grading system is, it's not, we used to have a man, an, an assessor in the stand, ex-referee, that's been replaced now for many years. Actually, every throw-in, every foul, every bit of contact's analysed and you're, and you're marked. But even referees like myself, I got a one-match ban many years ago for going to watch an Ed Sheeran concert. I left the stadium <laughs> early, so therefore you can't be. That, yeah. <laughs> so you can you can actually get suspended for things like that. But poor performances, you do you do get punished. You mm. you don't get a game because it's like a player. If you if you perform badly, you've got to remember these these guys are the top referees in the country. So one bad game, I think it's continuous. If you have bad bad matches, the fans don't know that though, Mark. Do they? It's not communicated that that kind of information. No, but the, also the problem you've got in the Premier League at the moment. When I got on the Premier League, there was 24 referees. Now there's less than 16, 17. They're an agent group. It's difficult, and also with the video coming in next season, they're going to need more. They're going to need more referees. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings on NBCSN.